Ooh, it's a clay mask. Yes, right. I had to do it. Damn, I don't like the sound this chair makes when I move. But anyway. So when the cities, welcome back to my channel. If you need to my channel, uh hi. <laughs> I'm really shy, but thank you for thank you for watching. Um I'd really like it if you stayed and become a sweetie of mine. And to do that, all you have to do is click the subscribe button and you can even hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post new videos. Because for now, it's still a little bit sporadic. You know, today we're going to talk skincare. Okay, so, um, I first would like to give you guys a background, and if you still stay and watch till the end of the video, you can see what my morning skincare routine is like right now. For now, I'm mostly going to talk about like my morning skincare routine and products and stuff like that. But we're going to start all the way back in like 2015. It, what had happened was 2015 I was in boarding school, right? Um, I had this roommate, she started using gentle magic products and she was like, girl, if you want your skin to be like this, to give you that pregnancy kind of glow that everybody was going around. Girl, is it pregnant? Girl, is it pregnant? Tell us the truth. Are you pregnant? Right? So she was like, if you want that pregnancy type of glow, go get these products and run. Okay, plus they really we were, we were in grade 12, guys. So yeah, she seemed to say really cheap on our now. Cool, cool, cool. So I go and I get them, right? I use them. Then I go home. I go home, and my aunt was like, "That's it, we are bitch. That's it, huh? That's it, we are bitch." I'm like, "No, why would I do that?" She's like, "Mm mm, man. One, you are too bright. Two, your face and your neck." Two million different shades. I'm like, what well, happened using these? Look, 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 look. You see some bleach in your skin. And she was like, you know what? Let's go to clicks with the skin and then um, ask the skincare people to get you like a proper skincare routine and that other thing. So, cool. We do that. And then, fine. I think that's when I learned that I have combination oily skin i'm so sorry anyway, um she was like oh that's when i found out that my skin is oily combination right cool and then i think i went and used mostly garnier products like the clay the three in one clay wash um, i can't remember what moisturizers and stuff i used but that doesn't matter because it was back in the day Fine, that's how I started with skincare, right? And then, hand to hold, yeah. 2017, I'm looking for affordable skincare products. 2018, DIY skincare was the part. So cool, I hop onto that. <laughs> I hop onto that. It's all good, it's cute, it's fun because you know, in the kitchen, you're mixing some stuff for your face. Jiggy jiggy avocado, jiggy jiggy banana, you see? The oli oli, yeah, fine. And then I find um, LA Beauty Beautyologist and Hiram. But I think Hiram I found him later. I also learned about how to like investigate ingredients from Hiram. But eventually I got lazy with it. So yeah. And then cool comes 2019, right? Around 2019, I think. Yeah. Around 2019. Um, like, okay, I have this vivid memory. Yeah. You know? It wasn't even winter, it was just kind of cold. I'm walking out of the complex and bruh, I just moisturized my skin, but it was kind of tight over here and my eyebrows were definitely dry and flaky. So cool. Um, we go to this makeup artist in Colonnade by Edgar's. You know the Edgar's Mac area where there's makeup artists? Yeah, we go there. And then, um, my aunt, I needed to learn how to do my aunt's eyebrows, right? So this makeup artist, she was doing my brows and well, essentially she was doing my whole face. So I'm telling her, I think my skin is like oily, but my eyebrows are always dry no matter what I use. 
and because most of the time I need mattifying products. That's what I'm going for because my skin is is very oily, especially in summer. Fine. She tells me that um, maybe you should try using gel moisturizers. I'm like, tell me more. Because I had no idea what she was talking about. Cool. And then she tells me more. I go home and I start looking for gel moisturizers most of the ones that i could find were like more than 200 and at that time guys well even today but at that time 200 to spend on one product was just like uh -huh, are you asking for a leg and an arm and my entire liver please whoa see fine so um i find products and they start working the first one that i found that was affordable was the himalaya gel cream gel moisturizer whatever i'll put a picture right Cool. and that that worked for me that worked really well and then eventually um neutrogena also came up with a gel moisturizer the hydrogel what what <laughs> i start using that but one maybe a few weeks in i'm like mm -mm, this isn't moisturizing my skin like, after i've applied the moisturizer my skin still felt tight and dry I also eventually then found um, Bio Oil, the Bio Oil Dry Skin Gel, and it works. Problem is, in summer during the day, not so much because it's an oil at the end of the day, and an oil on oily skin in summer. In summer. So I go back to the Himalaya one and suddenly the it felt like the formula had changed because it wasn't my skin wasn't reacting the same way. It would feel kind of like it stings, but it wasn't burning, but it kind of stung. I don't know if that makes sense. But like some the content of on the thingy. So fine. Um then this one time I'm looking for aloe vera gel for my hair and then I found this one it says 100% aloe vera gel I buy it I get home and my cousin is like what are you gonna be doing with this I'm like I'm gonna use it on my hair she's like how when it has witch hazel I'm like huh she's like yeah it has witch hazel and I, and then I go and I read the ingredients and it's like for fuck's sake like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. so fine i i start trying it on my face it works but i'm going to assume because of that witch hazel it doesn't i feel like witch hazel is drying to a certain extent so and the fact that it's just aloe vera it was maybe hydrating but not moisturizing I don't I know that there's a difference, but sometimes I don't know what the difference is when it comes to like my skin because yeah, fine. Cool. So I get I start using the aloe vera gel on my face and yeah, it's working here and there, but like not really. Nice. So I would try to use the aloe vera during the day and then the bio oil at night. And then for sunscreen I was using the dermal pal because I had stopped using sunscreen for years. <laughs> So cool i saw her in sunscreen i used a dome power one cool and then um because now remember youtube some skincare i guess so there's also face masks and then there were some creators who were like hyping up freeman face masks and then i find them at this kid i'm like you freeman you're the heel i'm going to die on i think i still have one in my cupboard but it's very old because i don't know how i feel about using it i had initially bought it for my little sister but she wasn't using it so i took it back thought i would use it but actually i don't think it's something that would work for me and gary freeman face mask um but like most of the time it's either a peel off mask or an exfoliating mask and i just wanted a, like a plain clay mask and I think the only ones they had was the apple cider vinegar one and then there was another one it was green and yellow but like I stopped finding them as much so there was just there was just a lot to it and then I eventually stopped with the masks 
and then come 2022 i learned that you should try integrating your menstrual cycle and the skincare products that you use i had i had it somewhere i know it's somewhere probably in my other skin but yeah um i knew that when you're like menstruating you should use gentler products and less oils because you're producing more oils and whatnot and i just forgot at which point to use what because i haven't been doing that because my cycle is very 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 irregular we'll talk about that another time if you want to talk about that and if you want to talk about menstrual cycles or whatnot if you want me to get into that conversation but for now that's not the tea fine my cycle then becomes irregular um so i lose track and then i stop doing it and then there was another cleanser that i found for like it was a gentle cleanser and never gentle i'll put a picture in um i found that cleanser and i started using it it worked well and i don't have any complaints it's a gentle cleanser it just washes your face and that's it it's not supposed to be like have all miracles on your face it just makes it clean and that's it so that was fine and i kind of put pause on you except don't ask me why i also don't know okay i know oh. i just keep on procrastinating by buying it it ended up finishing and i was like okay i'll buy it month in month in came i didn't buy it and that happened every other month so yeah by default i just i stopped using sunscreen then come december january this year <laughs> no? i'm back home we're in the car yes right bye so now we're in 2023 I'm in the Makayas. Um, I'm only cleansing my Ghana cleanser that I've been using for the past three years. And um, mostly a combination of these, if not just this during the day and this at night. Right? Fine. I'm not consistent with my skincare routine. I'm not washing my face twice a day. Nothing. No sunscreen. <laughs> no? <laughs> um, I have this. I have these pimples all over my face. Right? They're not irritating, they're not painful, they're not... Most of them aren't white. So, it's like, I can live with this, but I don't like what I see when I look in the mirror, right? So, um, I start freaking out when it's time to go back to school, because during December, I don't necessarily look at myself in the mirror that much. Right. So, yeah, I just, I just don't be caring how I look. February, March, I start trying to find out what could possibly be happening to my skin. I can't figure out if it's clogged pores, if it's a breakout, if it's hormonal, or if it's heat rash, right? But now, my thing is, how can heat rash last this long? Surely it's not just heat rash. If, it's, if it was invoked, if it was invoked by heat rash, Maybe it's not just heat rash anymore. It might be something more. So I start getting back into skincare and I'm like, okay, maybe what I need to do is get apple cider vinegar, um, bentonite clay and active fated charcoal. Makes it make a face mask and unclog my pores maybe once or twice a week, right? Fine. So I go to this game with intentions of purchasing those products. And then I find this lady in the skincare aisle while just browsing <laughs> so i find this lady or this lady finds me rather and she's like oh are you looking for anything specific how can i help you can i help you i'm like no i'm just browsing i'm trying to see if there's anything that i could use for my skin you see what's currently happening i can't figure out what's happening really and she's like oh okay um considering you have acne prone skin i think this range is perfect for you I'm like, okay, tell me more. She's like, it's got salicylic acid and it's salicylic acid and tea tree oil based. So she shows me the mask first. I'm like, ooh, it's a clay mask. Yes, right? Fine. She so she shows me the mask first and then she gets into the cleanser, whatnot. There's so many products. 
there was one thing that I really wanted. It was kind of like wipes, but also like, you know, I can't remember. I'll try to find it and put a picture here and maybe explain like right down at the bottom what it actually does. But yeah, that product, I was like, oh, it is so bougie, but I like it, you know. It's not something you actually need, but it could be very useful. So I'm like, okay, fine. Considering these are the two products that I use to moisturize my face, right? This is too oily, this isn't moisturizing enough. So sometimes, I would, more often than not, I would have to mix them. So I wasn't entirely happy with that. So I'm like, okay, maybe I should get a new moisturizer as well while I'm at it. But I also need a sunscreen. So what do I prioritize, right? So I decide, okay, um, these products are expensive as hell according to my pocket, right? Um, but let me just get these. So this is the mask, this is the moisturizer, the moisturizer has SPF. So I'm like, surely the combination of these, my skin will be perfect by like the end of the week. <laughs> so I get them, the moisturizer, I apply it and immediately after application it starts feeling like i'm sweating so i'm like hey mm -mm, i get heat so i use it for a while and then use the ones the products i already had at night and i'm like uh -uh, man i really don't like this feeling and considering it was summer so i'm already bound to sweat and then on top of that you're gonna make me sweat uh yeah guys so fine i stopped using it after a while and then i try continue using the clay mask but it burns when i apply as soon as it touches my skin it burns at first i thought okay maybe my skin just needs to adjust because you know chambé is just too much but no guys this thing just, i used it maybe like last week or two weeks ago after applying makeup guys it burns <laughs> so now i only use it when i remove my makeup like after removing my makeup but i can show how it um i think there's a video i'm gonna post about um basically my nighttime skin routine or whatever um, um but yeah i'm gonna upload a video i'll add the link if i do so i still use this mask but only gets a dura no way my money's just going down the drain like that so i'm still gonna use this but only when i'm removing my makeup so fine that happens and then i'm like you know what nothing is working let me just strip my skin routine try to figure out what i could remove what i need to permanently remove and what i could add so i decided to do that but it's not yet month end yet so i haven't bought the product right um i'm still looking for the perfect cleanser that's like that has no actives and, and affordable I was aiming for under 100 rand, right? So um, I decided to get the pure soap, that the even tone one, and I decided to get sunscreen as well, right? Um, so while doing my research of what I could get, I randomly on TikTok bumped it to um, some UK girly, um, I think it's Natalie or something. She has dry skin and she has clock prone skin yeah i think that's what it's called so two reasons why i didn't immediately follow her advice was because one she's white two she has dry skin but also uh the fact that she has clock prone skin my forehead my forehead mostly has clogged pores is prone to clogged pores and it's been that way for as long as i can remember nothing has ever fixed it and i've never really gravitated towards retinol products so after watching a few of her videos i decided okay i should try something with retinoid and then but i put like a pin in it like as in um if after stripping my skincare routine if none of it works i'll get on to you right and then um there's a real or an instagram video that uh just blacknificent i love oh i loved that just blacknificent's content love her content so so much so there was a video that she posted on instagram and then i commented she, it was about skincare so then i comment on it totally like my skin is a maza is in hell and nothing is working i'm even considering throwing out all my skincare products they're very dramatic about it and then she's like 
girl calm down let's talk so i tell her what i've been using what's been happening what happened to my skin she's like no um first of all get a sunscreen secondly if you want a gentle cleanser i recommend i'd like to recommend sarabi product and i'd also recommend sarabi moisturizer for purely for the termites so i'm like okay cool so then i check out the sarabi prices i'm like <laughs> In a way, <laughs> in a way, in a fucking way, I'm doing it. I'm doing it because, like, if my aim is to find products that are 100 rand or less, what am I doing with therapy? I'm not doing that. Fine, so I don't. And then I think I find that there's smaller ones, but I don't buy it. And then I forgot about it because I was like, I'm not doing that, they're too expensive for me. So I go through her old sun, her old videos that had sunscreen recommendations and I find the Eucerin one is good for oily skin, right? Fine. So I buy that and the pure soap and then I'm using the pure soap. It's really good. Um, I like that it feels like it's removing all the oils on the sunscreen from during the day and then I can apply the nighttime products, right? So that's what I mostly loved about the pure soap. I might go back to using it because when it finished, I then got this cleanser. I've been loving it, but it doesn't feel as cleansing, considering the fact that I'm so used to salicylic acid as a cleanser. You understand? So it just feels like I'm re removing the top layer or whatever, and whatever's like in my pores is still remaining there. So maybe that's why I just like this and said maybe like on Fridays or once a week I should try it. I should still use my salicylic acid cleanser. Cool. So fine, um, I I use that to cleanse my skin and I'm using the Eucerin sunscreen but as I'm using it, first of all I wasn't as consistent with it and because of the inconsistency I wasn't really seeing progress until I started being consistent and when I became consistent, not more than a week into it, I started seeing a difference. Most of most of the spots from my face, they're like, well, here, most of them were gone. Maybe not completely, but they were like leaving as I kept on being consistent. And I, that's where, that's when I knew. But you know what? Maybe these people aren't lying about the consistency. Consistent, there's really something about consistency, eh? I was inconsistent, I wasn't seeing progress. I start doing it every day, every day. I wear sunscreen. I make it a point to wear sunscreen every single day. And I start seeing it even most of the time I'm in the house. So, fine i wore sunscreen it worked cool and then i start realizing that the sunscreen as much as it's working my skin is progress i'm still feeling a bit dry after applying it so i start looking for a different sunscreen and then i found the nivea one i think it was i used to use a sunscreen but then i stopped and then um Shesha Lupina started talking about it and i was like hmm let's go back to it i went back to it and i'm having the time of my life i love it nivea nivea is nivea is definitely going to be the hill that i'm gonna die on nivea is the hill that i'm going to die on purely so fine um find um a girl on tiktok who finds these serums it's three of them for under 100 rand on take a lot right so it's hyaluronic acid it's vitamin c it's retinol right remember i find i found natalie goes into retinoids and i was like let's put a pin in that so i find these serums and i'm like oh the retinol is what i want the most but i could still use the hyaluronic acid one the vitamin c i might not have much work for it because as much as you see i can have like dark spots but hyperpigmentation has never really been a big problem for me and it's like the unevenness of my forehead but i can live with that you know it's never really been such a concern for me my biggest concern has always been uh, my clogged pores and my acne sometimes and just the fact that my skin is oily so those are my main concerns when it comes to skincare so fine i find these serums i'm like hmm should i shouldn't i should i shouldn't i'm like you know what this retinol is probably not as good as it should be but it's a start right so i get these serums right 
I get these serums. Um, I'm currently trying out the retinol at night and I use the hyaluronic acid during the day. This one I add to my body scrub. So um, my skincare routine right now is the most basic, 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 basic. In the morning, I use my gentle cleanser. Sometimes I can go straight ahead and wear the sunscreen, just one layer, reapplying throughout the day. Or I use this after washing my face while it's still damp, and then I go in with that afterwards. So literally, right? Cool. Pause for thumbnail. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it. Cool. So that's what my skincare routine has become now. And so far, because of this hyaluronic serum, it also has um vitamin c oh please don't look at my nails but well, um it also has oh the serum also has vitamin c and e right so because of that while it's hydrating my skin it's also brightening it you see it so yeah um, i'm currently loving my skincare routine i definitely want to add ceramides into um my routine but i'm not sure because most um most ceramide moisturizers are creams and not gels so that's going to be a bit difficult for me but i'm i'm looking i'm looking if you've enjoyed this video you can give me a like you can subscribe to my channel to become a sweetie if you wanna and hit that notification bell as well you can comment anything you've learned from my channel or anything you've learned from this video specifically anything you'd like to like mention about skincare and stuff just i'm hip i'm happy to hear from you guys always always and all the time so yeah you will comment down below stay tuned for my actual routine right now what it looks like and yeah I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, hello, hi. <laughs> okay, first of all, wash your hands. And then cleanser, wash the face. I usually do three pumps. Rub a dub dub, rub a dub dub, rub a dub dub. On the eyes, I always use my ring fingers because they're more gentle for the skin that's on the eyes. And never forget the neck. The neck is a part of your face as well, please. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Rinse, rinse, rinse. And then I only wipe my hands and the water that's dripping off my chin. And then I brush my teeth so my face air dries a little bit. So it's not too wet for me to apply my hyaluronic acid serum. Ring fingers around the eyes again. And then on the neck, always go in an upwards direction to fight signs of aging. And then sunscreen which is the final step of my skincare routine two fingers always and all the time i know it looks like a lot but <laughs> it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot i know you have to rub a dub dub for a minute i didn't want to cut anything out so that you can see that i continue rub a dub dubbing it and it just it melts all the way in and that's how you get to look like a glazed donut period bye